Tonight, we will be discussing In the Sea, There Are Crocodiles by Fabio Gaeta. The literature circle group of students that read this book was Gary James, Melissa Borland, Christina Toyle, and Skylar Ashton Palmer. We hope you enjoy. One of the main questions asked about this book is who is the protagonist? Who is the author and what makes them qualified? This is a story about Enoch and his journey for freedom. The author, Fabio Gaeta, chronicles the story Enoch took to save his own life and escape the Taliban. The setting starts off in Afghanistan with Enoch's mother taking Enoch at the age of 10 and abandoning him in Pakistan. From there, Enoch travels on his own for many years through Iran, Turkey, Greece, and finally reaching Italy where he is given asylum. Enoch's ordeal takes place in the early 2000s when the Taliban is in control of Afghanistan. Enoch travels through five countries, almost dying before obtaining his own personal freedom. Poor and broke, like many others in the region, Enoch must work exceptionally hard daily to obtain his basic needs. This book may be used in a literature circle group or in philosophical class discussions. Moreover, this book may be used to have students envision a journey of survival for them. This book would fit well with ELA standards ranging from fifth grade on up to high school level. Additionally, this book would pair well with the current issues class. The overall moral of this story is to never give up. Life is so precious, but there is always a light at the end of the tunnel. In Enoch's situation, he was able to evade certain death by the Taliban. It is truly a story of remarkable perseverance. Speaking of perseverance, now let's listen to Fabio Gaeta talk about what drove Enoch to seek a new life. Fabio was interviewed by a professor from the University of Southern Missouri. The video will start momentarily. So, yeah. so capturing his story and talking about how he was uh, determined to keep going, you know, to find a place where he could call home again was a big challenge for him. Yeah, this is... Uh this was his goal, okay, mm -hmm. simply find a place to call home. Okay, sometimes the people uh, choose to, to come uh, in our country, right. okay? They can't so understand why people leave their country. Yeah, 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 yes. So uh, the, 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 the question, the, f the fact is they, they don't choose to, to leave mm -hmm. the country, okay? They, they need to leave. Okay, right. th there is no chance for, for mm -hmm. them. So in this case, his life was being threatened, his family was being threatened if he would have stayed where he was at. Yeah. yeah. Right. When asked if some people may ever want this book banned, the short answer is yes. This book exposes many political dynamics that some foreign government officials may not wish to be out in the public eye. This book also reveals the true harsh realities that many immigrants are faced with daily. For many governments that try to paint immigrants in a negative light, this book does just the opposite. So the question is, why might some people seek to make this story required reading? This book is a great read for students to get some perspective on the harsh living conditions for people in other countries. This book is about a kid from Afghanistan, and the book portrays the life and the struggles that he faces with the Taliban and being an illegal. This book demonstrates the differences in how their childhood is from Enoch. The one voice that is absent from this book is that of Enoch's mother. Near the end of the book, Enoch admits that he was able to get in contact with his mother. I feel like Enoch's mother would offer up her version of what happened to Enoch. I'm not suggesting that anything is false. However, I think she would be able to supplement the details as to why she abandoned Enoch. We leave you now with each Literature Circle member's thoughts on Fabio Gaeta's In the Sea, There Are Crocodiles. Have a good night.